I'm Carolyn Kastner, the curator here at the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum. What's really exciting to me as a curator is to be able to work with the extensive collection we have of her art materials and her drawings. And in this gallery, we're telling a story of a 60-year drawing practice, a practice that she began in 1916 and she still continues into the 1960s. My favorite drawing in our collection of over 700 drawings is this tiny little drawing behind me here. And this is a drawing that O'Keeffe created on an airplane. And it's on something that I don't even know the material makeup of. It's probably a coaster. She's grabbed something. There are six lines. And from those six lines, she came home and created this large painting. And for me, to see this at the end of her life, to understand this lifelong drawing practice is really spectacular. Georgia O'Keeffe pulled together an art practice, a professional commitment, and a drawing practice before she was 30 years old. And those skills took her through a 60-year art career. And it's amazing to me because most people see her as this older woman who came to live in the desert, and what we are looking at when we see her as a young woman is a young woman who has a life like any 20 year old. She loves going out driving. She writes lots of letters about her experience, who she wants to kiss, who she doesn't like kissing. But at the same time, she is this disciplined artist. And it is from that period that she establishes a lifelong practice of looking and drawing carefully from the natural world. Sometimes she spent decades painting the same subject, the Paternel. Uh, she spent about 10 years painting a place she titled the Black Place. Uh, she spent about eight years out at the White Place. These are attractions that filled her with joy as much as they filled her with artistic purpose. Georgia O'Keeffe was very savvy about placing her artwork in major museum collections all across the country. So you can see great examples of her paintings in New York, Chicago, Minneapolis, Boston, Washington, D.C., all over the country. What you can only see in Santa Fe are the materials that document her entire life, the drawings that help us understand how she worked, the paints and paintbrushes that allow us to understand her technique and process, the archival evidence that really gives us a sense of her life as a person, the stories and the evidence of her friendships with her neighbors and famous artists in the area, the landscape that inspired her and motivated her to continue painting till the very end of her life. That can only be experienced here in Santa Fe. The museum's collections began when we opened in 1997 with just a small number of works, carefully selected by John and Anne Marion, the founders of our museum. Over the years, the collection has grown, most significantly with the gift in 2006 of many works from the George O'Keeffe Foundation when it ceased to exist and, and transferred the remaining assets from the foundation to the museum. George O'Keeffe achieved remarkable critical and popular acclaim shortly after moving to New York City in 1918. In 1929, she made her first trip to New Mexico. She was inspired by the landscape, the people, the architecture. She started returning to New Mexico on a regular basis and it would continue to inspire her for nearly 60 years. O'Keeffe made New Mexico her home, permanently beginning in 1949. To this day, you can still enjoy seeing her house at Abiquiu. It's a remarkable experience and you can sense why she was drawn to this land and why this place inspired her so deeply. We tell the complete story of George O'Keeffe's life the story of a great American artist, presented through examples of her artwork from the early abstractions that began her career through the late landscapes that continue to inspire her at the end of her life living in New Mexico. It's the only place in the world where you can see her artwork and learn about her life, surrounded by the landscape that inspired her. You can help us preserve George O'Keeffe's legacy please consider joining us as a member or by making a charitable gift to support the institution.